texting. It's, everything's fine so far. She's a baby. Crying never killed anyone. Well, maybe that's not true. Wow, you had so many questions for Michelle. Good night. Yeah. Uh, Peter, right over here. In the front to your yeah, hi. hi. Um, so how does it feel to win for this uh, particular character? I know you've said you've had a, a lot of affection for him. So how does it feel to just win? It's great because I love, I, I keep spacing out when I uh, get up there because it's very surreal. But the, I always want to thank my cast and crew, the, my, the fellow cast members and the crew. Um, they just make it so much fun to go to work. And uh, I mean, even if the character was fun to play at the end of the day, if you don't work with people you really love working with, they're long days in the mountains of Northern Ireland. It, it would, that would even get tiresome. But uh, our cast and crew is incredible, so that makes it all worthwhile. And the character's a lot of fun. Hi, Peter, down in front here. Yeah. Um, what, the win, Emmy win and now the Globe win, does this solidify that uh, fantasy dramas can work? Um, yeah, it depends on the, the writing. I think we have a, f- uh, a handful of the most amazing writers in the business, uh, led by David Benioff and Dan Weiss, D.B. Weiss, um, and they have such incredible source material from George Martin uh, that uh, that's everything to me. Um, and whether any genre, it just it doesn't really matter the genre. It's all about the great writing, and I think uh, that shows in our show. So hopefully, you know. It'll give that uh, genre a little bit more uh, respect and credit. Yeah. Uh, Peter. Yep. Peter up front here. Hey. Uh, a lot of my friends have been geeking out over the show. I mean, we watched it over and over again. Uh, what do you think, um, in terms of the show, like what makes it so addicting? Obviously, you have these wonderful characters, but um, why do you think people are so drawn to this series? Um, well, it's just sort of like the end of the, the first season. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, we killed the protagonist. We killed the hero, and that's sort of, I think, a really smart narrative. Um, and it's sort of... I think it's, I find it kind of sad that that's so much surprising because the writing has gotten so sort of formulaic, especially, I think, sorry in television. But um, uh, you just got to push the envelope and, and, and challenge people's uh, expectations and... Uh, um, ideas of what's happening going to happen next and I think we do that and I think that adds to the addiction of the show you never know what's around the corner because we have in season two we have we're not done killing off people and it's amazing that the characters we choose so it's you know it's life so thank you thank you, thank you. I think you go that way to the one.